News has been a bit quiet this week in the world of space, but nonetheless, I'll bring you the best stories of the week. A rare rectangular shaped galaxy has been discovered by astronomers at the Swinburne University of Technology. It is estimated to be 70 million light years away and around half as dense as the Milky Way. According to the laws of physics, this cannot naturally happen by itself. It is thought that the odd shaped galaxy was formed by the collision of two spiral galaxies. Either that or the angle that the picture was taken from gives the illusion of a rectangular shaped galaxy. This August the 15th, the mysterious wow signal is finally getting a response via Twitter. For those of you who don't know, the wow signal was a message received from deep space by a radio telescope back in the year 1977. The signal was a steady burst of radio waves that was decoded to form six letters and six numbers. The origin of the message is unknown, but the chance of it being extraterrestrial is there. Astronomers have located the area that the signal was dispatched from and are now, on the wow signal's 35th year anniversary, sending a reply. To have your message part of the response, simply post a tweet this Friday with the hashtag ChasingUFOs. The message is thought to have come from the Sagittarius constellation which is over 200 light years away, so don't expect an immediate response. Astronomers have discovered two planets so close together that the image you are seeing right now would be a frequent occurrence on one of these worlds. The planets Kepler 36b and Kepler 36c at their closest point come a mere 1.2 million miles from each other and with Kepler 36c coming in around the same size as Neptune the planet rise from Kepler 36b would look incredible. To add a bit of perspective to this imagine a giant gaseous planet Neptune eight times the size of Earth sitting in our sky just four lunar distances away from us. It would probably look like a basketball at arm's length drifting above our heads. An incredible sight that we, unfortunately, would never get to see. And that's it for the Space News this week. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you soon.